Welcome back guys to the channel. Today, what we wanted to run you through was new Boss Aluminium, RT 110th, and 270 awning as well. well what Warney's gonna do is he's going to demonstrate on how this thing opens, set up. We'll take you guys upstairs for a quick look inside. Might be a bit messy because my kids have been sleeping in there. And we'll just show you a few of the features that are in the tent that are available for the tent, including the awning that we then do mount to the sides of the tents as well. Obviously, you don't have to mount the awning to the side of the tent if you don't have a tent. You can just put it on your own car. Anyway, let's get it. Warning, go. Look at that. Two latches. One hand on it. Lift it up. Bring the bungee cord down. And then... door goes open. On the door, guys, there is a little sewn-in magnet that you can lift it up and prop it up onto the left-hand side if you're looking at it from this side, and it'll hold the door kind of up out of your way. In the tent, you've got two cross poles and then two uprights as well. So what one is doing now is cross pole, as you can see, and then your upright Ta-da, there she goes. So you've got your eyelets on either side. Upright will go into said position. Kind of get it, you know, where you think you're gonna need it. And then once you've got both of those in, you can then put your cross poles up. So with the cross pole, the feet goes right up into the top corner of the tent, and then it pushes out on your arms to then hold all the canvas taut on the front of the tent. The great thing about this is that you don't need any ropes to keep the front of the tent up and secure. These things do very, very well in the breeze. Ask Amy, she's been in a bit of a wild situation with the girls when Saf and I were away. She knows all about it and they do very, very well. There are eyelets up there, so if you are getting wild with the breeze, then you can obviously tie them down if you wanted to get real crazy, but I've been using this tent for almost a year now and I've never had to. So there we go. Have a quick squizzy at how Orny set that up. And then now what you can do to add a bit of tension is you can bring the poles down and slide them down and the uprights to give a little bit more tension. Perfect like that. So that's the whole design of how that gets set up. And then you got the massive door on the front which does have a full canvas closed up door. And then you got your two on the sides, which are super, super big and super wide. Let's quickly go around the driver's side and I'll show you another feature of the tent that they all come with. This is our ladder holder for the extendable ladder that comes out. So I do have one in the canopy for when our awning is fully open and that will give me side access up into the tent zips on the outside and on the inside because that way you can obviously gain access from either side so it can be on this side on the other side whichever side you set your system up you can get that bracket it comes with the tents when you purchase them and you can put it on the rear on the side vice versa so welcome to the inside of the rt1 this particular setup from boss is called the tour package so what that includes is you do get a one meter hardcore light right at the top of the tent itself. So that is amber color changing, dimmable lighting inside the tent. Then right at the head of the tent, you do have a couple of 12 volt outlets, so 12 volt socket, dual USBs for charging as well. Upgraded mattress, so this mattress is a 100 mil. And then you do get the underlay also, which I'll show you real quick because we're right there for allowing the tent to breathe. So this is really, really good for that as well. So this is what they call their touring package. Then obviously you can, you can step down from that, which doesn't include those features. An extra feature that you can get as well though is solar panels on the top as well. They all do come with the rails and then they've got cross beams for those rails also. So if you did want to carry Max tracks uh what else a um, swag as well if you had extra people if you're doing something like that they can take that type of setup on the top 
Quick run through on the inside, plenty of storage pockets around, some down the bottom here, some up the top as well for your headspace. As you can see, it is very tall in here. I can physically stand here to the highest point myself and basically get changed inside the tent. One more option that you can get available for these as well is a Sirocco fan and a iPad mount as well if you wanted to get real creative and watch a bit of TV shows, whatever, whilst you're at camp, if you're that way inclined. But that is the interior of the RT1s. I did the desert earlier this year. Fantastic trip in the winter time, being able to close this whole thing up. It's like a little igloo. It was fantastic, had a great time. Tents are very, very comfortable and the mattresses are great. If you do want to go and leave all your bedding in the tent, you can. That's the great thing about these tents being so large. You can fit all your bedding in here. So I, as you can see, got three pillows in here because I've got the three kids in here. So they sleep in this one. Ames and I are in the 200. And it fits all three kids, all their bedding, pillows, and we can even tuck some gear down the bottom of it. So storage inside the tent is very, very good being able to leave bedding and even a small bag down the bottom, very advantageous, especially if you've got numbers. Alrighty, so let's do the reverse of setup and we'll get wanting to pack this thing up, show you guys how we type of pack it down. And that way you can see, basically it is the reverse, but at least you'll be able to see how it all comes back down together. And then let's step into the awning after we do that. Little trick and a tip for when you are closing the tents down, leave your side windows, the canvas that is, uh, down a little bit at the top just to allow the air to escape when you are closing the lid. Makes it a little bit easier. With your poles, I simply leave them in the tent. There's more than enough space to leave them inside when you're packing it down. So I just pull them down, leave them on the bed because I mean that's the first thing you want to set up when you set it up. As you can see, handle strap there for pulling it down. Depends on how your vehicle is set up, how you kind of use that bungee cord up to help bring the canvas in. I usually do what Warney does and grab the top quite early. And then yes, bring your canvas in as you pull the tent down, which will help keep your seals clear of any canvas, which then keeps all your dust out. Look at that. Ta-da, hey warning. Magic. Magic. All right, let's have a look at this awning. Didn't even crack sweat. Aluminium 270 awning. We're gonna show you guys how easy this is to set up. If your vehicle is as tall as this one is, highly recommend yourself a little step. Definitely gonna make things uh, easy for you when you're doing that. Go Warnie, go. And action unzip and then I would recommend getting the top of the bag up over the top of the arm just sit it on top like so you got two straps that hold it in in the front and then this is your anchor so one is going to take that and he'll literally disappear around the other side of the vehicle just hold up there warning you do have a little leg to kick up just here, which will help keep all your canvas propped up for when you are in the rain. Another cool feature about the awnings, zip in walls. So the walls are coming, you will have the option of being able to do the entire 
awning if you choose to do so. There is a door option and window option walls that are coming very, very soon as well. This is a freestanding awning, guys. Rather structurally sound, as long as you are mounting it to something that can take the weight. There is the option to then tie them down via the eyelets if it's getting a bit wild and windy. Not that you'd really want to be hanging around too much if it's that crazy. These things are very, very good with the breeze, but that option is there as well. Alrighty, let's put it away. Quite simple, literally reverse of how we removed it. Bring the awning around, prop the leg down, like so. So the idea here, when you're bringing it all back together, is pushing the arms up as far as you can, bring your straps over, and then we literally fold the canvas once and then roll, like so. There's two little eyelets that the straps then go through, like so. Pull it taut. Thank you, mate. And then simply with your tie down strap, we'll put it back over here. Pulling it back up, tuck it into the canvas. Bring the bag back over the top. I'll have to steal that step when you're ready, your horny. Thank you, mate. And away we go. Ta-da! Thanks so much for watching, guys. That was just a quick overview of the RT1 and the new Boss Aluminium 270 awning as well. Don't forget, all of this gear is available here through ourselves at BAW Automotive. We are the Queensland distributor for these guys. So if you're looking for something like that, send us an email, give us a call, and we can run you guys through it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, that way you guys are updated with any videos that come out in the future. But that's it for this one. Thanks so much, we'll see you in the next video.